good start for the Yamaha, but a better one for the Suzuki. The Suzuki blasts down the turn one. Look at that. He managed to slot it into fourth place. He has, I'm sure he has. Polis Margo looking great there in fourth place. Lesley sticks with second place. Dobby's in third place. Then it's Mark Marquez back in fifth place. The race come riders. They want a little bit of water on the track. Yeah, you, you're right. And then Akaya, he's already made up six places. But it was all actions was something else. And there. he needs it to make it work. Remember back when he was easy to pass, that's for sure. The big question mark for me is over Maverick Vinales. Has he got wet weather pace? Right now, you'd say middle of the front row, leading on the Suzuki. He's good round here, Rins. Very good round here. Most of the week is to Mark Marquez. Plenty of work to do. 2.4 miles round. Mark Marquez gambled. He was the only man left hand side of the screen, so a disaster for one half of the Espargo family. Mark Marquez is really hot there, really hot. He does well to pull that one, and that's not a good sign for Alicia Spargaro. Next Moto two days. A long, long time since Alex Rins has put himself in this kind of position. Marquez looking to try and outbreak his old rival into turn one. He doesn't want to see Rins. Through turn number three, he's got to be careful. What about a family Petrucci who we thought we could make it? Big inroads in the podium, and Vinales have been picked off by Petrucci. Perfect time to ride on board with Vinales. Seven, you know that he's not particularly comfortable in conditions like this at the moment, Vinales. It's a matter of time here before Jack Miller. Vinales is suffering out there because now Jack Miller's picked his pocket on that tight twist. He's paying off here. Android of its show, so Rossi has taken that position. Seventh place has taken. By Rossi from the Jack, Jack Miller. Miller. It's the sixth crash in the fifth crash fifth. of the weekend for Miller. He was driving at Tioso. This wasn't in the script. By far and away, all season long. At all from Rins in the wet. Don't really recall him ever being a top rider in the wet. There's never a alarm on the back of his helmet here this weekend as well. His, uh, his great friend, who he sadly lost a couple of years ago, and that's not the first time we've said that this year. A replay and the rear end as well after passing Paul Espargaro. But Matt, day here on race day, Alex Rins is now four and a half. Espargaro, man, no. sorry, this can't happen. If he does that, it's, it's going to be the move oh, of the century. That would have been something. Petrucci's disappeared off our radar as well. When it's deteriorating here. Jack Miller and Daniel Petrucci are top, top wet weather riders. Look at that. Oh, Petrucci. Margo. Margo's gone. You know what, Steve? In the blink of an eye, Alex Rins has gone from doing... Marquez has gone down as well! Do you know what, Do you know we could see a stop to this race? I don't think we're going to be far off from a red flag here. This shoulder's gone yet again. I mean, how many times... The rear comes mate. round and that... Oh. oh, that's a horrible crash for the world champion. I'll tell you what, that shoulder would have put his face in the gun. i he's got a face... Power. They're really, really struggling through the rivers here. Simon, you're full... Sorry, guys, it's running down to garages to try and... Attacking that regard. Tom Luter's crash, of course, means, unfortunately, with a Swiss ride, carrying a fair race to not see the ride, all the riders, they're having moments on that rear tyre. Oh, oh, no, he's he's down. Down. He was in fifth place, so there's no... Look at that! That just... almost pivoted round to a 360 on him. Unbelievable. Danny Pedrosa is now up to sixth. Yeah, here is Pedrosa up the inside of Joan Zarco. In all of this carbon wrecking spring. Well, race direction will keep a close eye on that because that was the reason once it got bad there. Malaysia, last time out in Sepang, was the first time that they'd had any real chance to ride. So, this is Alvaro Bautista. He's taking his own advice. Rossi's closely ahead of him as Jorge Lorenzo has got his hands full keeping the fish. El Pascal Hafish comes back to a dry. So, that was his fault. Look at that nothing he could do the rear just came around at him in a flash and there you go in three races Philip Ireland was and a Simon this is Alex Rins his, his gap at the oh, front has gone, he's down. gone down Steve oh it's getting treacherous he's gone but down. Rallis, big time yeah. at turn 13 he's gone down yeah and there's this pensive it's stopped yeah he, 13, 13 oh the oh, rear's come dear, round him mate. at 13 that's just about the, the screen because he's now on top of Davizioso Simon will come to you in a moment because Rob Davizioso Rossi on that, this brilliant charge through from 16th. He's had some contact somewhere and Rins to Vizioso and Rossi. And I hope for their sake it doesn't happen. That pushed Danny Pedrosa. And he was right on the tail of Davizioso. We were looking at his pit board. I wonder if the aquaplane there. Yeah, yeah, Rins, really struggling. Rins is down in the 145s. Gone down now as well. He was in sixth place. Well, hitting the crime. Right, this is going to change quickly. We have actually got the top three riders all together. As we head Rins has gone wide. well wide well, well, and both wide. of them gobble him up. Davizioso now leads and Valentino Rossi's in second. And Rossi's attacking. Oh, Here we go, 
Davies into the lead. Is he going to run it wide? He is. To Mitch Joseph will cut it back into turn. The flag is out. It's gone. Red flag. Now, I should just point out, at this stage, he's not completed. The race yeah, has to yeah. be restarted. And it goes back to lap. And Rins was leading on that lap. So, effectively, if the race was to be restarted... Martina Rossi still hasn't realised armour. Oh, watch this. Look at that. Andrea Di Vizioso just fights on a soaking wet sodden... <laughs> Yamaha punya jatah untuk bisa menempuh lap lap here begins again for 16 a lot of eyes on him at the moment and I don't think for the show here then in this shortened 14 lap a good start from all three riders on the front row Valentino Rossi in particular on board here with Davizioso though he carbon copy of the first part was it Alex Rins absolutely nailed the launch off the line on the to be for Joanne Sarko he's going to lose a place to maybe Michele Piro Rins Dovi Rossi Zakagami got away well also by Andrea De Vizioso, the captain on the start finish rate. It is under Vizioso that leads. Hasn't done anything too silly on the opening laps here. Yeah, Rins under Vizioso with a Petrosa in fourth and fifth. It's either that or Rins has just shipped for his first win of the season. In fact, he's just set. Thomas Fargaro, Petrosa might just find himself in fourth place in a moment. The only Repsol Honda rider out there after the crash from Mark Marquez only. And this Ian Rins is closing in. He smells a move here. Spargo. Polish Spargo with a retaliatory move up the inside of Pedrosa at the five. Does. Rossi, you can see what it's like when you're on the bike. That face full into our camera. He looks so good, doesn't he? Never gets flustered. Always been the same. What I like about him is if he's... Is our moment of the season. More about that later. And it's so he just easy found to it. crash. Ran out so wide, Valentino Rossi. The half a second faster than everyone else. Pretty impressive stuff. That's in ATM. Absolutely brilliant in this second part. Polis Bargro and the top speed between the Ducati and the Suzuki. 299.8. Here oh, comes Valentino. Go. It's a late one. He's got that front end though, hasn't he? He's just got that confidence. Real up. You have to try and get. Gone past Pedrosa as well. Danilo. Has gone past, so Pirro different places. 46 degrees when you're shifting that much water. Oh, down has gone Alvaro Batista. So turn 12. Self tips it in. Oh, no. He, oh, typical turn 12. Typical, We've seen that. Yeah. Rossi, because 2.4, it went from 1.9 to 2.4. Huh? Valentino Rossi second. Alex Rins, if you ask me, has settled for a... Oh, so good. We've talked about it all year. But in these conditions, that's one thought this guy is going to step straight up to MotoGP and, and be, you know... Top. Oh, it's Rossi. Rossi! Rossi's down in the dirt. Valentino Rossi has crashed out of... You just tip in. I bet the rear comes around on him. There you go. There's nothing you can do. Fabulous Bargro will put a KTM, if he gets to the end, put a KTM on... Take it easy, take it easy. One or two degrees of tyre temperature less. This is here at the Grand Prix of Valencia on the Ricardo Tormo circuit. Here is Alex Rins. Wet. Alex Rins. Remember, final round. It is Andrea De Vizioso over the line. Only Piro. Oh, I know he's not close, but uh, yeah, Piro just set his fast. Yeah. Second part, as was Bradley Smith, who's down in eighth place on the cat. Who was closing in on him? There was only two points between the two. Oh, hang on. On the line, last lap time it is then. Andrea De Vizioso leads by 4.5 seconds. A podium finish for KTM would be very special indeed. The rest of the factory know it. Dobby is about to. He's all about the race. Takes a that's yeah. So then has a short distance to go to take the Grand Prix. He's going to wheelie to the line. Andrea De Vizioso wins the Grand Prix. And historically on the podium is Polis Bargaro with the KT.